If you're thinking about moving to Tampa, Florida, you're gonna definitely wanna stick around and watch this video as we're gonna show you through one of Tampa's most historic neighborhoods known as Seminole Heights. We're gonna drive you through the neighborhoods, through the areas and show you three different price point homes. One at 350, one at 550 and one at 850. So you can see what value you get for your money and what may or may not fit your budget. And we're gonna get after it right now. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Tampa, Florida, make sure you subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to get the market reports for Tampa, Florida. I'm Debbie Diaz and this is Andres Diaz with the Diaz Group at EXP Realty. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking to make the move to Tampa, Florida and we absolutely love it. Whether you're looking to move in 9 days or 90 days, just shoot us a text, send us an email or give us a call so we can help you make a smooth move to Tampa, Florida. As we mentioned, we're in Tampa, Florida in the neighborhood of Seminole Heights, a historic neighborhood um, with bungalow style homes. But I am going to let Debbie, since this is her stopping, stopping grounds, make sure that she tells us all about Seminole Heights. So I did grow up in Seminole Heights back in the early 80s. Um, I walked to my elementary school, bus to my middle school, but walked to my high school as well. And you'll see that in some of our pictures. It's actually way older. I want to say more than 100 years old. So it's a great high school um, with a lot of a lot of stories and a lot of character. The area behind us is actually called River Heights, um, which is close to where I grew up. There's lots of parks along the river. We would come here as kids, have picnic on the rivers. Nowadays, a lot of people come here and they kayak, you can paddle board. Um, and then there's also a lot of homes along the river. As you can see, beautiful homes. Just a really gorgeous area to raise a family in and it's totally gentrified area. It's got all about the uh, very trendy hipster type area right now. We're looking at a lot of different uh, cuisine, a lot of different food, uh, high end chefs, uh, uh, a lot of craft bars, coffee bars, breweries, breweries micro breweries. It's um, but with that casual atmosphere, you can definitely go and get some live music in a set of shorts and flip flops. And, and walk your dog and bring them with you as well. Very pet friendly yeah. area. You'll see a lot of people walking around with their dogs. Um, a lot of parks in the area as well. So this is Seminole Heights and we're going to go through some of the neighborhoods and check out three houses. So here we are at stop number one. The home behind me is a two bedroom, two bath bungalow, which is true to the characteristics of the Seminole Heights area. It is only a thousand square feet and it is currently on the market at $350,000. I know what you're thinking. Wow, that's a small house. But this area um, is now been revitalized and it has a bunch of areas that are just hot to foodies and breweries and bars and things like that. So it is a very fun hipster area if you're into parks, walking your dogs and just walking around and having great meals. Um, this house was built in 1925, which you're going to find that a lot of the homes in the Seminole Heights area are that style. They're little bungalows that don't have garages. Um, most of the homes just have a carport to the um, side of the house and some of them might have um, a detached garage behind the home, but that's going to be common to the house, to the era of um, houses built in the 1920s. Now we're going to go check out house number two. Hello again. Here we are at stop number two. I've got um, another bungalow style home. This one is a two bedroom, two bath, and it is just over 1800 square feet. It was built in 1925, just like the first one that I showed you. Um, and it's currently on the market for $565,000. Now, as you can see, it is a, a corner lot, so it's got a bigger lot line. Um, true to the bungalow style, there is no garage. 
and I walked around to the side of the home and I didn't see a rear garage either, just a parking pad off to the side. So again, if you're somebody that's looking for a three car garage, not gonna happen in Seminole Heights as most of the homes are gonna be from the, 19, the early 1900s. Um, you are about maybe 10 minutes to downtown, only about maybe a mile from the interstate. So once you get onto that interstate, your proximity to downtown, to um, the beaches, to Wesley Chapel, it's all gonna be relatively quick because you are gonna be on the interstate. at stop number three in Seminole Heights. The home behind me is currently on the market and it's listed at $850,000. So this house was built in 2016, which isn't really common in the Seminole Heights area. They probably tore down a little bungalow, created this house, and you can see that it's still staying true to the bungalow era. Um, as you can see, it's got the front porch, it's got the tire swing right behind me there on that front tree. Um, the garage is detached and located behind the home. Now, because this is a newer home, it is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, and like I said, listed currently at 850,000. So this is gonna wrap it up for our stops in Seminole Heights. Um, you can see behind me back there, there's some more new construction going on. And that's kind of been what's going on in the um, revitalization of this area. They've been tearing down some smaller homes, building some newer ones, and again, staying true to the characteristics of 1925. I hope you enjoyed our video today. If you have any more questions, please reach out to us. We are happy to help and we hope to see you around town. And just like we finish all our neighborhood tours, we're at one of our favorite locations in Seminole Heights. We're enjoying an old-fashioned and a mojito, and that is very Seminole Heights-ish. <laughs> so, um, this so place is called the Sea House, and if everything on the menu starts with a C. So you can get anything from chicken wings to... Cauliflower bites chicken, that are amazing. Chicken carbonara, just very creative, very eclectic menu, but again, everything starts with a C, hence the name Sea House. You can hear the live music behind us, outdoor bar, indoor bar, um, very centrally located in Seminole Heights. You can you can park here, there's valet parking, and you, but you can come in flip-flops, you can bring your dog, they have areas outside where they'll bring a bowl for you. Um, you can, once you park here, you can walk to the front porch, you can walk to Mandarin Heights, uh, everything. A lot of little eateries and bars right around here, so you can make this your first stop and have five more stops that are walkable. Seminole Heights, again, was a lot of it was industrial, I guess, if you want to say. It was a, a lot of uh, car shops and, and plumbing shops and blue collar working shops, and now it's really filled itself in with all these high end bars and high end restaurants. It's turned into a trendy area, um, a lot of walkable places. And again, just like the homes that we showed you earlier, everything around here is that bungalow style, front porch style. So people are just sitting out, out front, hanging out, having their drinks. Thank you for riding along with us. I hope you enjoyed your trip. Um, please make sure again to subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications as we put out videos weekly in the Tampa area and you'll be the first to know.